Hi, dear students. Welcome back to Computer Science class. In our previous session, we have seen built-in functions in detail. Today, we are heading to another important topic, modules in Python. We know functions can be categorized mainly into three. Built-in functions, modules and user-defined functions. We have already completed built-in functions and user-defined functions in detail. Today, we have another important topic, that is modules. Actually, what is a module? We know we have a process called modularity when we get a problem and problem may be somewhat complex or lengthy and we divide the problem into sub problems again into sub problems and that process is called modularity that di division and conquer process is called modularity and we are dividing the problem just to solve it easily. So modularity is a process and module is the final product in modularity. Okay. So when the program becomes lengthy and complex we have to split the program into smaller segments called modules actually module is a file that contains functions and variables which are defined in separate files or we can say simply a module is a file that contains python code or series of instructions when we divide a problem into sub problems or modules actually we join we have related functions or functions that perform related operations okay so when we uh, make a module we will have functions that perform related operations so uh, there are two types of modules available in python one is built-in module second is user-defined module just like uh, what built-in functions and user-defined functions and built-in fu what module for example math math is a built-in module in python what is that uh, we know math is a module right so in math module we will have number of functions and which are the functions available in math we know math is an inbuilt or built-in module and functions like sine cos tan uh, sqrt log there are number of functions available in math module and math module is a built-in module is a predefined module available in python we just have to use the module but we have another type of module user defined module for example uh, python has the ability to create or which gives the uh, what provision for the user to create users on modules for example uh, we, uh, sometimes we have to reuse the function which is defined in a program or and we have to use it in some other programs the logic is somewhat simple a function if you want to use the function which is defined earlier in many programs in many different programs what we do is first we will define the function then we will save it and uh, at the time of using it we will save uh, the file or we will place the file in the module first we will define the function and we will define the function or we, will, we can have functions ok so we will define the functions and we will place all those functions to a particular module we will give a name to the module and at the time when we want to use it we will just import the module and the importing is just like importing an inbuilt module or a built-in module or a predefined module okay just after placing all the functions all the all what related functions to a module it became the part of the uh, library or the python standard library so uh, python has the flexibility to define our own modules uh, if we want to reuse a function in many different programs so we can place them in a module we can import it to the program whenever we need it okay so this is what a module is so uh, python uh, when the program becomes complex uh, or lengthy uh, we have we can uh, divide it into segments okay so module is simply a file that contains functions and variables and we can have uh, built-in modules or user defined module built-in modules are uh, modules which are already defined in python standard library uh, like math and in the in the what in the module we will have number of functions and functions will be related or oh, what we will have a what similarity or a connection between these functions okay and uh, user defined module user has the privilege to define his own functions and we can make it as a module we can place all those functions in a module and whenever we need it we can import it to the program okay so this is about module the definition and types of modules okay next we have importing modules we know module is a part of the library 
and we have already seen a module a built-in module math and in math if you want to uh, find the square root of a number what we will do is we can just import the math module to our program and making use of sqrt function sqrt is a function that belongs to math module okay so just uh, pass a value to sqrt we'll get the result so that is the way we are doing and here in python we have two ways to import modules one is using import statement using import statement we can import the entire module and we have the second option from using that from we can import uh, all the functions in the module or some of the functions import all functions or selected ones okay and uh, the syntax is import module name one module name two we can have number of modules and an example example import math you know math is a built-in module built-in module in python so at the time of importing math python interpreter does three things the first one searching for math.py searching for the module math.py after that it allocates memory to functions and variables and finally it executes all the statements in the module it searches for the uh, module math.py then it allocates memory to functions and variables and finally execute statements in the module okay so now let's see how can we access how can we get the functions or the function which are defined in a module okay here we importing we have already imported math and we know sqrt is a function belongs to math a module math okay we can just think of uh, a module as a container okay as a container math is a container and in that we have number of functions defined already functions like sqrt pow log sin cos there are number of functions okay so here we are making use of sqrt function to find the square root of a number we know sqrt is a function which is already defined in a module name math okay so uh, how to access how to get how to make use of a function first we will have the module name module name followed by the function name separated by dot and this is called dot notation okay this is called not dot notation method uh, here is the module name first followed by function name sqrt here the module name is math function name is sqrt separated by dot and we have parameter okay let's see how uh, does it work uh, we have uh, the statement result equal to math dot sqrt 64 we know sqrt is a function which is available in the module math and we are passing 64 right so uh, sqrt finds the square root of it's a built-in function it finds the square root of 64 and assigns the result to result okay and assign the value to result so the result is 8 okay so this is how uh, sqrt function works when sqrt function is a part of uh, math module okay so let's see a graphical uh, representation of this uh, interpreter interpreter import what math module here is our math module and you can see number of functions defined math module pi sqrt sine cos log there are a number of functions as we have already told and here is our source code it's a part of what the module and after uh, importing math.h it became the part of what our source code we can access all the functions okay so this is how modules in python works let's have a quick revision uh, module modules is a part of modularity that is a final product in modularity and it is one of the functions uh, like uh, built-in functions or user defined functions and module module uh, when the program become complex and lengthy uh, we can uh, reduce we can split it into smaller segments called module and module the definition of module is module is a file it is a file that contains functions and variables right it is a fun uh, it is a file that contains functions and variables and of course uh, it contains or simply we can say what it contains uh, python code or series of instructions okay then uh, it's about uh, it contains functions of related tasks as we have seen in math module we have all mathematical functions nothing else in math module we have related functions related functions in the sense we have mathematical functions in math the module math okay then we can categorize uh, modules in python into two built-in modules and user-defined modules 
built-in modules are modules which are already defined in Python standard library or in some uh, directories and user defined ones are the modules which are defined by the user and when we need to uh, define our own modules for example uh, suppose we have a function okay that function uh, should be used in uh, the coming programs or in some other programs what the best method to the best practice to implement this concept is we can import related functions or simply a function in a module we can simply place those functions or function in a module and at the time of running our program or at the time of doing a program we can import those user defined module to our program we can make use of a single function or multiple functions based on the module we can have a single function in the module we can have multiple functions in the module okay so we can make use either single or multiple uh, functions in the module and the specialty of module is module contains related functions okay related functions so this is uh, how we can create uh, user defined module and make use of those module and then it's about uh, importing module now we have uh, what existing module uh, either it be uh, built-in module or user defined module so how to work with uh, the program how to work with the module uh, it's already available in library we have to import it from the library to the program here is our module to the program we have to bring it to the program what do you mean by importing just bringing it to the program that's it okay just uh, uh, getting to the program getting the file to the program bringing the file to the program that's what importing is and there are two methods one is using import uh, statement that is uh, we can import the entire functions okay entire module and the second is using from that is we can uh, import a selected functions of all the functions and here is a syntax import module name one module name two okay and we, we have an example uh, import math at the time of importing math uh, uh, python does three things one is searching for uh, math.py second uh, allocate memory for variables and functions and finally what um, execute statements in the module okay so uh, here we have an example math.sqrt we know sqrt is a function available in math, math module and of course uh, at the time of getting or accessing uh, modules or functions in a module uh, first we are adding the uh, module name that is math here it is math math followed by the function name and we'll have parameters okay then we assign the result to a variable called result and here is the graphical representation uh, interpreter import math uh, module to the program actually after in, uh, importing math module it became the part of the module it be becomes a part of the uh, source code okay uh, so we, we can use all the functions uh, to in, in our program so this is all about the theory part of modules and next we have the implementation okay we are considering the same uh, module math okay now we have uh, some examples of uh, math functions or functions available in math module and we know before that uh, we know uh, functions are the basic building blocks in every program and we know it works on divide and conquer approach okay so here we have uh, 10 functions uh, and the, all, all, all these functions belong to math so we have to import math to the program first okay then only we can apply all these functions so we can start with seal uh, the first function is seal x it returns the smallest integer which is greater than or equal to x seal of x returns the smallest integer which is greater than or equal to x and we have an example print math.seal 3.4 which returns 4 the smallest integer which is greater than or equal to x so you know how to make use of the function uh, you have to uh, use the module name followed by the function name here the function name is seal and the module name is math separated using dot and we have parameter 3.4 and it returns 4 second function floor floor of x which returns the largest integer which should be greater what less than or equal to x floor of x returns the largest integer which should be less than or equal to x examples math.floor minus 45.17 which returns minus 46 less than or equal to 7 largest integer less than or equal to x okay so minus 45.17 returns minus 46 then math.floor 100 
which returns 100.0. 100.12 returns 100.0 when we apply it in flow okay next one power you know power p o w x comma y it's what which returns x raised to y we have we should have two parameters right math dot power p o w 3 comma 3 so here the value of x is 3 y is also 3 that is 3 raised to 3 that is 27.0 27.0 Math dot POW 3 comma 0 that is 3 raised to 0 that is 1 1.0 any value raised to 0 is 1 okay so 1.0 next we have FABS F A B S we have already applied the function ABS ABS for absolute value and F A B S for floating point okay floating point absolute value absolute value uh, which returns a positive value math dot FABS minus 15 that is 15.0 15.0 will be Return. Absolute value means positive value. F means float, floating point absolute value. We are passing minus 15, it return, returns 15.0. Okay. Now we have SQRT function. We have already applied the function SQRT. Uh, SQRT function returns square root of a number. Right. Here SQRT of x, which returns square root of x. And we have two statements here. Math dot SQRT 100, which returns 10.0. And math dot SQRT of 65, which returns 8.0. 06 okay which will not return a whole number actually uh, which returns uh, 8.06 and we have uh, some more numbers uh, just after okay following but it will be rounded off to two digits that's what 8.06 is okay then we have log 10 log 10 of x which returns base 10 log right uh, which returns base 10 log of x for example math dot log 10 of 100 which returns 2.0 okay then we have sine, cos and tan functions, trigonometric functions, right? So cos of x, which returns the cosine value of x, which is in radian, okay? Math dot cos of 0, that is 1.0. The same way we can apply sine, sine of x, which returns sine value of x in radian. Math dot sine of 0, 0, 0.0. Then tan of x, which returns a tangent value of x, which also be in radian, okay? So man dot tan of 0 is 0, 0.0. So uh, this we have trigonometric functions available in uh, the math module. And we have finally help function. Help function gives help. Help to the user. Uh, here we have two statements import math. And we have a statement print help math dot course. We are seeking help on course function which is available in math module. Okay. We print something uh, related to what course. Uh, returns a statement like cosine value of x okay and plus we'll have some more statements just try it okay so these are some of the functions some of the functions available in math module plus you can apply directly apply math there in help okay you just try it for yourself okay then uh, so these are some of the functions available in math module uh, c which returns smallest integer which is greater than or equal to x uh, floor of x largest integer less than or equal to x power raised to x raised to y then fabs floating point absolute value okay then square sqrt square root of x then log 10 base 10 log then cos sine and tan trigonometric functions cosine value sine value and tangent value and finally we have health function and in health function we can pass anything okay we can pass the module itself we can pass the function uh, in a module just like uh, help math dot cos okay so this is all about uh, modules in Python especially math module and we know uh, the concept is very simple a module is a file that contains functions and related what variables okay functions related for functions for example here in math uh, module you can see related functions the functions which are related to mathematical operations right so we have two types of uh, modules uh, built-in module and user defined module math module is an example for built-in module which is already available in the standard library of python okay python standard library we just have to import the module to the program math module is already available in python standard library we just have to import the module first then we can make use of uh, whichever functions uh, we need in our program okay just like math dot sqrt of x but we have another type of module user defined module user defined module is a module which consists of user defined functions 
For example, we have number of functions which is to be used in many different coming programs. So the best practice is uh, we can we can define those uh, functions first and we can place those functions to a module and we can save the module. Okay, then just like importing math module or any other built-in module, we can import user-defined modules to our program and it works just like built-in module. Okay, just after saving our user-defined module, it became what? A built-in module. Okay, just like accessing built-in module, we can access user-defined modules also. So, uh, then we have seen how to import using import statement and from the, then uh, some of the examples. Okay, then some mathematical uh, functions available in math module. Okay, so this is all for the time being. Uh, you just practice it okay in your machine uh, then uh, get a clear idea of uh, all those modules and all those functions okay just type for what uh, user defined modules also okay uh, so thank you thank you for watching we'll have uh, some more uh, string modules in uh, our coming uh, classes so thank you thank you for watching have a nice time